um, in November we were approached by the Albright Knox. They were interested in having work, us work with them. They had an artist by the name of Mark Bradford coming to install his show in May and they wanted to know if we were interested in looking at his work and doing a piece in response to what we had seen. Um, we were interested so we started to research Mark ba Bradford and look at his work a little bit more closely and then got more interested because his work is so exciting. As we were looking at his work we were noticing that a lot of it is based on kind of his neighborhood and the connection to his um, his own neighborhood and his own experiences. So we wanted to kind of look at our own neighborhoods in that same kind of process. We started to look at some of the different things that are happening in Buffalo, how certain areas are coming up, but certain areas are kind of getting left behind. And in a lot of cases, those areas that are getting left behind are the neighborhoods where our students live. We worked on it for about four months, and we started off with a lot of research about different parts of Buffalo, the housing, people, how they live, and the history of it. So it was really interesting learning different parts of Buffalo and a part of our community that I didn't know before. It started to develop slowly um, as, as we were looking at his work and just kind of seeing, um, we noticed in some of his work he uses maps, so we started using a map as Buffalo as one of our base layers. And with each layer we put different things and about our community, different facts. We learned new things as we went along, like about like different crimes and stuff. Just be any random papers, or it'd be something that like look up an image that we like and put it on a board, or like we had a detention slip, just put the dis detention slip on a board. And every time we put on a layer, such as how we put on a layer on the quality of life, we put on pins on the board where each kid live. We made our own colorful tissue paper out of ink. We dyed the paper with ink, and we used that as a layer too. When all of that was done, we would put the black ink on it. And after that, you know, we sand it. And then when we was done sanding it, we glazed it down. We would do an information layer, then a color layer. And so it was kind of weird doing that. Like, you would put so much work into one layer, and it would look really good. And then you would just rip it up, and then cover it up, and change it completely. So it was really weird. Like, why are we doing this? Like putting something over an information that probably won't show up again. But when it's finished, you can see like a lot of stuff under the layers that we forgot about are showing back up again. It's kind of like Buffalo, how it was so good. And then now we're falling into some really hard times, but it's getting better again. So it's kind of like the layers when something seems so perfect, but then get destroyed, but it's always gonna come back again.